Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your renders look more realistic in this free image editing software. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that you want to do is just render it. And I'd say render it in a kind of medium resolution. I've done this. You don't want to do it too low because that's what we're going to do in the actual editing software. So now just save that and you can close all this down. I'm going to save that and close that down. And then you can go to Photop and this will be the first link in the description. But anyways, I'm going to drag that image right here and there we go we've got it here so what i always do is click that brightness contrast and i normally turn brightness up and also contrast up you can see it's making the darker areas darker and then we turn brightness up to also make them brighter as well you don't want to completely wash it out i do like doing that because it makes it look like it's off a really bad camera but if i go about there let's say then i'm going to add color balance and for this i like making it a bit blue turning it to a bit more magenta and then making it a bit more red and it just i don't know that's kind of like my little style thing that i've done you can also add a curves and like change this around a bit just mess around with it and there's a lot more things you can add like exposure as well you can mess with that but i'm not gonna add exposure click on background filter you can add a bit of blur uh you could add some motion blur and maybe make it directional just for a bit of blur then we can go back to filter then now what we want to do we want to add noise add noise and i normally put on monochromatic and this makes it black and white as you can see so and then I turn that down i have that just a bit on there i could do like two you can see if you do zero there's nothing when there's a bit so i might do about yeah two so there's a bit and you can also then sharpen edges and then you can click ok you can also sharpen sharpen edges and that depending on the scene can add sharpening to the edges um so that'd be the difference between the black and the white or the dark and the bright and then we can just file export as jpeg and then the quality you can see here we can actually change it you could probably do that 50 percent, and you can even change the pixels but i'm just going to do this i'm going to save that and then as you can see on the screen we've got both of them and it kind of just makes it look more real and like it's taken off of a camera maybe quickly and not all cameras have the right exposure the whole time so it's good to sometimes have overexposed areas because you can never have bright and dark exposed at the same time and see them perfectly 